Hey guys, what's up? It's Ines and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Sunny's Face Air Blush Cream Blushes. This came out last year. They're very lightweight and they come in six different shades. So I have six shades right here with me. I got them during my trip in the Philippines, of course, um, because they do sell these here in the US. It's on a website called PNY Beauty, pero mas mahal siya. So binili ko na lang talaga siya nung nasa Philippines ako kasi alam kong maha mas makakatipid ako and gusto ko nga i-film yung video na to because to me, swatch videos, like real face swatch videos are very helpful in deciding what shade to get, what's right for you because you don't really need all these shades right here. To be honest, yung packaging niya maganda, hindi siya cheapy-cheapy, very minimal siya and very Sunny's face. That's one thing I like about Sunny's face, yung packaging niya lagi sobrang ganda for the price of it. Yung napansin ko lang sa Sunny's face, hindi ganun kadami yung laman na product niya. So with these air blushes, 2.5 grams each siya. So, hindi siya ma ganun kabilis maubos because I don't necessarily use it every day because I have all shades na I rotate with. Pero kung isa lang yung gagamitin mo for every day, siguro mga 2 to 3 months, maglalas yung isang pot. Here is the packaging. This one is in the shade Disco. Pakita ko lang sa inyo. And plastic siya, pero hindi naman siya yung sobrang cheap na plastic. Tsaka maganda yung finish niya matte. So, very sophist yung itsura niya. And maganda siya pag nasa vanity niyo. Ganyan. Very aesthetically pleasing kasi itong si Sunny's face. And yung maganda rin sa kanya, kahit maliit lang, at least may mirror siya. So, sa so swatch videos ko, ito lang yung ginagamit ko. Kasi kita naman, clear yung mirror niya, maganda yung quality. Yun nga lang, maliit. Pero, kung blush lang naman, kaya siya. Even for like, brows, yung mga, mga, mga spots on your face na naka-focus ka. Like, for your entire face, I don't think you would be able to use this as a foundation mirror. Pero yung mga, kunyari, blush, lipstick, ganyan, pwede na siya. So, maganda siya to keep in your purse, ganyan. Pero, syempre, dahil kung finger mo yung gagamit, mo, syempre, disinfect your hands muna kasi yun lang talaga yung pang, um, pang gamit dito eh. Yung finger mo, i-swirl mo lang siya tapos i-blot mo all over your face. Sobrang dali niya lang din i-blend. So, yun yung mga pros sa kanya. Sobrang dali niya i-blend. Very pigmented naman siya depending on the shade that you're getting and your skin tone. Kasi, hindi lahat ng shades mag appear sa skin mo. Like ako, medyo morena yung skin tone ko. Hindi lang halata because of my lights. Pero, yung shade ko lagi dito whenever I buy a foundation is nasa gitna siya, olive under tone tapos medyo medium beige, ganyan, hindi ako maputi. May mga shades dito na pag nilagay ko siya, mukhang nilagay ko na tapos parang nawawala siya agad because masyadong dark yung skin tone ko para dun sa shade, eh yung shade masyadong light. Like yung suot ko ngayon is moon, pero kapag kunyari itong moon, asa na ba? yang moon. Pakita ko sa inyo ah. Isa swatch ko siya sa kamay ko. ba parang ang dark. Pero yan siya sa face ko. Sobrang light. Parang ang mukha niya is mukhang biscuit yung gamit ko. Pero hindi. Moon. Dahil nga medyo morena yung skin tone ko. So it highly depends on your skin tone din talaga. So so yun nga. When it comes to long the longevity of it and yung pigmentation niya it depends on the shade and your skin tone. Pero yun nga yun napansin ko. Nung una sabi ko ay yung air blush hindi siya tumatagal. Pero nung dumating na ako dun sa mga darker na shades mas tumatagal siya sa buong as in, mas nakikita ko pa siya at the end of the day sa cheeks ko. So, kaya naisip ko din na itry ko each shade talaga for a full day para alam ko kung consistent ba yung formula niya with each and every shade or nagde-depend din siya sa color and sa skin tone ko. So, yun. Overall, maganda siya, lightweight and usually pag ginagamit ko to, hindi na ako nag-highlighter kasi may natural sheen siya sa cheeks ko. So, maganda siya. Perfect siya for the Philippines kasi sa Philippines hindi ako, since mainit doon and humid, parang laging summer, hindi mo na kailangan mag-highlighter and ito, magbibigay na siya ng nice dewy look sa face mo. So yeah, enough of my entire overview. Like I said, nagustuhan ko nga siya. When it comes to the longevity and pigmentation, it depends on the shade. So let's go through each and every shade. So the first shade is Biscuit. So this is a very light, neutral, warm tone shade na at first nagustuhan ko siya, pero at the end of the day, nawawala na siya sa cheeks ko and nahihirapan ako makita siya sa cheeks ko because nga, medyo darker yung complexion ko or medium to dark yung complexion ko. So if you have a lighter skin tone, tas gusto mo ng warm tone na shade, Biscuit is for you. Ngayon, kung medium to, medium to dark yung skin tone mo, dito maganda yung moon na shade. Yung moon na shade, mas may mauve red na undertone siya compared to Biscuit. Pag binlend mo siya sa cheeks mo, neutral enough na din siya, nababagay siya sa maraming different eyeshadow looks. So, yung moon, mas tumatagal siya, in my opinion, than Biscuit, just because it's a little bit darker. Pero, at the end of the day, hindi ko na rin siya makita sa cheeks ko. Although, isa siya sa mga favorite ko na 
shade. So, yung next shade is yung peach. Surprisingly, hindi ko inasahan na magugusan ko to kasi akala ko nung una medyo bright siya. Pero ito yung warmer orangey na shade. And tumagal siya throughout the whole day, in fairness naman. Kahit na akala ko nung una, okay, lighter din to. Hindi rin to tatagal. Pero nagustuhan ko siya. Like I said, it's more of your warmer, brighter summer shade. The problem ko lang dito sa peach is medyo it took me time to build it up on my skin. Pero like I said, tumagal nga siya sa cheeks ko until the end of the day. So, okay na yon. So, itong Raz, medyo darker pink siya. Nung una, akala ko Barbie pink yung magiging color niya on my cheeks. Pero, maganda naman siya. Pag binlend yun na, mas mag nagmumukha na siyang natural and wear up. Very wearable naman siya. Kung yung peach, it took me some time to build it up. Yung Raz, it took me some time to blend it out because ang nilagay ko na amount of product is kasing dami ng usual na amount na nilalagay ko with all the other shades. So, mas darker yung Raz, mas ontian niya yung paglagay. Tapos, i-build up niya na lang kasi mas madali yun kaysa blend kayo ng blend. Okay, the next shade is Doll. So, this is a lighter pink. So, ito, hindi masyadong kita sa skin tone ko. Siguro kung mas nasa lighter shades ka, mas pasok sa iyo yung Doll if you want something na on the pink side of things. So, maganda pa rin naman siya. It reminds me of the Bomb Cosmetics na Frat Boy. Ganun yung color niya. Pero, yun nga lang, since cream siya, hindi siya masyadong kita sa medium skin tone ko. Last but not the least is Disco. So, Disco, ito yung parang red naman. Sa unang tingin, medyo nakaka-intimidate siya kasi parang red, parang red lipstick, ganun. Pero once you blend it out, maganda siya, parang nice flush look lang yung mukha para halang kinilig, ganyan. So, nasa pagbe-blend mo lang din talaga yan. Make sure na you blend it out really nicely para mas magmukha siyang natural. Kasi, pag binlob nyo lang siya sa cheeks nyo, dun magmumukha kang dull na talagang may red ka sa cheeks. Pero pag maganda siya pag na-blend mo na talaga, mag nagmumukha talaga siyang natural on your cheeks. So, that's what I love about these Sunny's Face Air Blushes kasi sobrang natural looking lang talaga ng makeup na to. Hindi siya pang heavy na na full glam look. It's definitely an everyday makeup for a natural finished look. So I don't really use this on my lids or on my lips because I find that using like cream blushes like this on my lips dries them out. Tapos sa lids ko naman, parang minsan hindi siya ganun kabagay. And mas prefer ko kasi yung mga bronzy tones sa lids ko. So yun, for me, blush lang talaga siya. Maganda na siya. Yung quality niya is really nice and I do have dry skin, something to note. So ako na enjoy ko yung mga dewy na mukha siya radiant and hydrated na look kasi kailangan yun ng skin ko. Even though these are only six shades, you can definitely find the right one for you because it encompasses a lot of different tones and like I said, if you're looking for a pink tone and you have a lighter complexion, go for dull. If you're looking for a pink tone pero medium to dark yung complexion mo, rads ka. Kapag gusto mo ng warmer, brighter look, go for peach. And like I said, gumana to sa skin ko. I just had to really build it up. Pero feeling ko yung isang layer nito, isang blendan. Maganda pang lighter skin tones. And then yung moon, tsaka yung biscuit. Yung biscuit maganda sana siya, pero hindi lang talaga siya kita sa skin ko. As you can see naman dun sa swatch, sobrang light niya lang talaga. Parang wala akong in-apply. Yung moon naman, like I said, sa unang swatch, medyo dark siya. Pero pag binled mo na, ito na yung pag natural na color for a medium skin tone. Tapos yung disco, ayun, yun yung red mo. So, even though six shades lang siya, you're bound to find a shade that's right for you. And I love the fact that it's very compact kasi maliit lang siya. So, it's easy to throw in your purse or when you're traveling. Sobrang dali lang niyang dalhin. And like I said, yung packaging talaga ng Sony Space, lag laging A+, laging minimal, tapos maganda tignan. So, mas, mas nakaka-enjoy siyang bilhin and gamitin. So, yeah, that is all I have to say about these blushes. If you like this video and if you found it helpful in any way, shape or form, do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!